What is up guys, welcome to the Big Unbox, where we do that small tech, and today I am back with another big unboxing for you for the Samsung Galaxy S20, and today we're back with a case from a company called Minimal. It's going to be one of those really extremely thin cases that really 27 bucks at the price point, so we'll check it out to see if it's going to be a hit or a miss for the S20. Now this is kind of going to be similar to a company called Peel, Totally, those are all kind of the similar cases that are very, very extremely thin cases. You'll see what I mean when I actually do the unboxing. Let's get right to it. This is what you're going to get in the mail. Really nice presentation. you got a black box, uh, minimal right there. So really extremely nicely or nice presentation that you're going to get in the mail. So you're really going to think that's a heavy-duty case. Not so much. Let's get right to it and see if it's a hit or miss. Oh, we got a little, we got a little, uh, we got a little, a little hiccup here. Let's get and get the unboxing knife out here. Didn't think I was going to need it, but let's bust it out like this. Caught me off guard. Let's bust. Let's check this out, guys. Is there more than one? Let's see. Yeah, they got, they got, they double got me. What is going on here? They double up the stickers. All right, there we go. Let's try this one more time. Thought it was going to be a smooth unboxing, but they got me. There we go. All right, so this is what you're going to get. So very nice presentation. Put that to the side. Oh, you get a microfiber cloth. You know how we like those to wipe it down, wipe it down. You got a sticker as well. So just really nice. Overall, nice presentation. And then love the microfiber cloth to constantly wipe that beautiful phone down. Keep this around in your pocket, whatever you do. Let's see what else we get here. A little literature. Do the instructions. Put that to the side. And then here's where you're actually going to get. Now you can see this is what the actual case is. So really, there's nothing there. It almost feels like air. So it almost feels like there's nothing at all there. So let's get right to it and see what we get. I think there's actual, so there's a lot of layers of presentation on this one for what you're going to get. So once you get this, when you first get this, you're like, what am I paying 27 bucks for? And that's a great question. Does it cost $27 to make these? Heck no. They're probably make, they probably make this for a dollar, 50 cents. Markup is crazy. Look at this. Plastic, flexible, just a basic kind of cheap material. But what I like about this is that it's so thin. One of the things that when I first unboxed one of these cases from maybe Peel or Totally, I thought, man, this is the cheapest thing ever. But once I started using it, I realized I'm pretty careful with my phones. Now, this particular material may be all I need from just basic scratch protection. So you got to get the benefits of a case without actually feeling like a raw dog on the phone. Well, I appreciate that. So I kind of started liking them, and I started using them. But this color should look legit. It's a semi-transparent white color, so it look, should look really beautiful with that white Samsung Galaxy S20. Let's wipe this down, make it look beautiful for the camera like we do, since they gave you a microfiber cloth anyway. Let's wipe it down, wipe it down. Shine it up real nice. There we go. Beautiful. Pop it into place like this. Snaps right like this, boom, beautiful. Look at that. So this is what I'm talking about. You get the semi-transparent, so you can still see the back of the phone. The logo's popping through Samsung. You get the benefits of uh, basically nothing there. Feels like your raw dog on the phone, but you do get some basic scratch protection. You're gonna get edge-to-edge -edge protection. This is what I like about it. Edge-to-edge -edge protection all the way across the board, completely covered. So if you drop it, or if you just put it down, you're worried about just basic scratches on the table, that's going to get you covered. Let's check out the camera protection here. Nice little camera protection. See how they did here, how it's raised up? Look at that. Just the fine little details here. They raise it up on all the edges. Now, is it maximum lippage? No, no, no. But they give you no lip protection around your camera where it's not going to get scratched from just putting the down on the actual table itself. So that's nicely done. Now this material, it might seem a little bit slippery at the beginning, but what I found is this material kind of wears into the phone, so it actually gets more grippy in time. And you can see that looks really, really clean against that white Samsung Galaxy S20. Let's check out the lip, because everybody, oh, this is no lippage, guys. I had to cut it off real quick here because this is no lip protection at all. I can't say anything. I got this pre-installed screen protector on it, and that's the only lip protection you're going to, you can see that's actually above the lippage on the side of this case is that cheap pre-installed screen protector from Samsung. So no lippage. 
If you drop this, I would definitely be worried about cracking that screen. Very, very, very lack of coverage, which I would expect just because there's not much to this case. Nothing on the sides, looks good. Cutouts, clean, look at that, nice speaker grill. Cut out right there. Mic, looks good. Power button, these are exposed. Volume up and down, exposed as well. Pretty easy to get to. Almost like when they have a covering on there. So I, I just don't like the way these kind of feel when they got a cutout. I just think it feels kind of unnatural. You kind of got to push in just a little bit more than I would like. And then the same thing, you got the mic up top. Everything else is covered. Nice looking case, beautiful. Adds zero bulk, guys. This has got zero bulk at all. So it really does feel like you're raw dog on the phone, but you got some basic protection. So is this a hit or miss? That's This is the question. Is it a is it worth 27 bucks? No, I would say it's a miss for 27 bucks. If you can get it for like 12 bucks, 15 bucks, I would say check it out. If you're looking for extremely thin cases that really have, you know, you're not too worried about protection. You just want some basic scratch protection. But for everybody else, I would say probably skip this. Maybe check out like a Spigen style case. That's going to give you some more protection and it's probably cheaper as well. So I would say this is probably for most people. This is going to be a miss. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section. I say it's a miss really because of the price point. I just can't justify that price point for what you're going to get value wise for the case itself. Because I know this thing costs like a dollar to make. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Hit or miss. We'll call it a miss. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you guys next time.